Welcome back, True Seeker. It is a Saturday, October 7th, 2023. 22 years ago today, the United States invaded Afghanistan in the aftermath of September 11th. And that came on the orders of Iyad Barak, who was the leader of Israel at the time, former leader of the nation, former prime minister, and also former head of Israel's military. At least now he was the former. Back then he was the PM. Now it's Benjamin Netanyahu. But again, today the 22nd anniversary of that happening. And as we've talked about so many times, today, October 7th, has a lot to do with militarism and military and the history of the Crusades, which took place in the Holy Lands, where this is going on today. And we're going to revisit everything we've talked about for the last 10 years in regards to what's going on in this world. September 11th, Israel, its establishment, the New York Times headline from 1940 about the New World Order being pledged to the Jews. And if you don't know about that headline, it was October 6th, 1940, the start of World War II, that the New York Times had a big headline, New World Order. Pledge to Jews. That's how long that phrase has been around. New World Order. And again, to think, yesterday was the 48th anniversary of that headline. Of course, Israel was established in 1948. Might have read the book, The 48 Laws of Power. Numbers have meaning, especially in Judaism. Again, here's a book right here. Jewish Wisdom in Numbers. And... Of course, Judaism is based in the Torah and the fourth book of the Bible's numbers. And all of this stuff is numbers. In the Torah, Jacob becomes Israel before he dies at age 147. Today is the 147th day of the nation of Israel's age. Plus a whole lot more. And just the other day, I was talking about why we need to watch out for October 7th in light of what they encoded in the news. Just go back a few videos. We circled October 7th again, and we said it looks like they're communicating that something is coming on this date. We just covered that, you know, maybe 60 hours ago. And again, if you're new here, I do have three different channels that I stream on because I get censored and deleted and suspended all the time. Gematria Effect News 25, Gematria Effect News 22, and Gematria Effect Sports. And if you're saying, where's 23 and 24? They were recently deleted for no reason. And these channels could get deleted any day for, uh, again, the fact that people don't appreciate my free speech. So let's go through this bit by bit. And again, Gematria. We're going to talk a lot about it. The actual proper pronunciation is Gematria, but it's such a rare name that almost nobody's ever heard of the word. And when I was began studying, I... You know, I couldn't find the proper pronunciation, but Gematria, Gematria, it's all the same. It comes from Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism. Again, in Kabbalah, it stated that God created the world with numbers, letters, and words. Thus, the fourth book of the Bible being called Numbers. Thus, the book of the Bible being a book of numbers. You know, every, every verse is numbered. And, and let's not forget that after September 11th, 11 slash 9, after the towers came down that divided the world in the Bible... The Tower of Babel, that story ends in Genesis 11.9. And again, after 9.11, Iyad Barak, the leader of Israel, told the U.S. to invade Afghanistan and Iraq. Exactly what we did. Now today, Israel, on the anniversary of us invading, also Vladimir Putin's birthday today. We talked about him turning 71 today. Today's 71 days before the Pope's birthday. Again, we're going to bring it all together. We're going to make it all make sense. So, where to begin? How about right here? Again, gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words. Military, if you just take the alphabetic order. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z, the 26th letter is 26. You add up the letters of military. M would be the 13th letter. I would be the 9th. L would be the 12th, so on. You add it up, military equals 107. If you take the alphabetic order with numerology, so instead of M being 13, it becomes the numerology of 13. 1 plus 3 is 4, so M is 4, I is 9, L the 12th letter, 12 becomes 1 plus 2 is 3, so L is 3, I is 9, T the 20th letter, 
20 is 2 plus 0 is 2. So T is 2, A is 1, R the 18th letters, 1 plus 8 is 9. Y the 25th letters, 2 plus 5 is 7. You add up the letters, 4 plus 9 plus 3, so on. You get 44. Just yesterday, last stream we did, we talked about again the significance of 44 and military and soldier and infantry and trooper and just how all these words related to military have gematria 44. And notice how Israel, if you run the alphabetic order in reverse with numerology, Israel's 44, like Netanyahu. If you run the alphabetic order in reverse, Zion is 44. Remember this from October 2015? I mean, we've been talking about Israel and 44 for a long time now. October 2015, we covered this when this was a fresh headline, eight years ago. Netanyahu's 44 seconds of silence. If you've read my first book, which I wrote in 2017, we discovered that not only does Netanyahu equal 44 in the English language, but in Hebrew gematria, Netanyahu also equals 44. So in Hebrew and English, which are the two languages of Israel, those are the two official languages of Israel, Hebrew and English, his name equals 44 in both. This man's doing 44 seconds of silence at the UN. Let's not forget that after 9-11, again, we invaded Afghanistan on this day in history after 9-11, 9-11 that year in 2001 came 44 days after Tisha B'Av. And Tisha B'Av is to remember the destruction of the two temples, like the two towers came down on 9-11, 44 days after Tisha B'Av. And again, in Jewish gematria, Tisha B'Av equals 911, as does Vatican Hill. And again, it's the Catholic Church that's manipulating all this and playing the Abrahamic religions against each other. You know, they're saying Hamas attacked first today, which is the Islamic resistance force. A again, I don't trust anything that's in the news, but I have no doubt that both Hamas and Israel are controlled by this same Catholic Jesuit cabal, and I'm going to show you how perfect it all is and how that's obviously the case and more than just my opinion. We're going to get to all of it. So again, if you're new here, all these words have gematria 44. And we just went over it yesterday in the last stream I did. Military, soldier. I spelled soldier. I, I, I need to fix that. It's S-O-L like soul for son. D-I-E like die. And then R, the 18th letter, like how 18 is the meaning of life number. And in, in, in this study right here, 18 represents the meaning of life. That's why most of Western culture says you become an adult when you're 18, which is a pretty arbitrary number. Why not a nice even number like 20? They chose 18 because it's symbolic in this study right here. Soul die are. You got to be 18 to die under the sun. But anyway, all these words have gematria 44. Military, soldier, which should have been spelled correctly. Infantry, trooper, officer, execution, kill. And, you know, uh, Netanyahu said Hamas has declared this war. I just want you to notice how Hamas and war have the same gematria. 42, 15. If you take numerology, World War is also 42. And funny enough, Netanyahu just came back into the prime minister position on December 29th. And who was born on December 29th in history? Albert Pike, the same man who wrote the letters about three world wars to Mazzini, who was the second leader of the Illuminati. And again, the Illuminati was founded by the Jesuits. And um, well, we'll bring it all together here. But notice from Pope Francis's birthday, again, we're on a 52-week calendar named after a pope when the word pope equals 52. But from the pope's birthday to this today is exactly 42 weeks on the nose, which means it's also 71 days to his upcoming birthday where Catholic equals 71. And again, Putin's turning 71 today. And remember, it, it, it connects back to us going into Afghanistan and going after Osama bin Laden. Because if you don't know the history, Osama bin Laden was once upon a time a CIA asset. And his gang of rebel forces were funded by the CIA to stop Russian interference in Afghanistan. Afghanistan's always been an important territory because of the resources that are there. From the poppies, because the people who control the world control the drug trade, to the minerals in the mountains, to oil. There's a lot going on in Afghanistan, which is a massive land. And again, there's always been these little skirmishes between Russia and U.S., the military superpowers of the world, space race, nuclear arms race, world domination race. 
And uh, again, part of it as well as both nations are controlled by the same Jesuit cabal who control all sides of all things. They are the new world order. And we'll bring that into focus again as well. But it's 42 weeks after the Pope's birthday as supposedly Hamas starts war in Israel. And let's not forget that Israel was drawn up by the United Nations, which was created by the Jesuits, with Resolution 181, where 181 is the 42nd prime number. So the leader of the Jesuits is Arturo Sosa. And from his birthday to today is exactly 47 weeks. And remember, Israel was drawn up as a nation by the United Nations with Resolution 181 in the year 47. And on the date September 3rd, 9-3. And 93 and 47 have a big relationship, as we've talked about so many times with Israel and so many other things. In Gematria, Saturn equals 93 and time equals 47. And Saturn is the keeper of time to the occult. And many Bible researchers who claim the Bible is all astrotheology, which I think is correct, say the God of the Old Testament is Saturn, the sixth planet. That's why in Judaism they wear the cube, the six-sided object. But Saturn in time, 93 and 47. Here we are on Saturday, the day of the week named after Saturn, the day that Jews worship. And actually, it's the day that Christians are supposed to worship as well. Of course, Christianity comes out of Judaism because Jesus was from Judea. But in the Bible, it does teach you to worship on Saturday. It's the Catholic Church that changed that and changed the worship to Sunday. And the Catholic Church began as a sun-worshipping cult. And they celebrate the sun's birthday on Christmas Day, just like they celebrate the Son of God's birthday on Christmas Day. And we'll come back to that day and why it matters. And why it fits in with today. But anyway, Gematria. Again, there are four base ciphers in English. The alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, the reverse alphabetic order with numerology. You see them all on the screen. Saturn is 93, 21 when you use numerology, which makes sense because 21 is the sixth triangular number, like the sixth planet. When you run it in reverse, Saturn is 69 and 42. And again, Hamas is 42, and war is 42. And notice how Hamas, when you run it in reverse, is also 93, like Saturn. Again, like Israel, drawn up on September 3rd, 9-3. When Obama was in office, oh boy, his name just escaped my mind. Former leader of Israel died at age 93, and all the leaders of the world went to Israel and then departed from Israel on September 29th, the day leaving 93 days left in the year. They gathered at Knesset, which is Israel's Congress, and Knesset's 93. And their big military defense system is Iron Dome, which is 93. And their speaker at the time of Knesset was Edelstein, which is 93. This number is so big with Israel, 93. And um, again, now this ritual with Hamas on a Saturday. Notice the gematria Benjamin Netanyahu, who declared war today. His name equals 93. His name also equals 69, Saturn, 69, 93, Catholic Church, 69, New World Order, 69, the Jesuit Order, 69, the first Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis. His birthday is Saturnalia. Just think about it. What are the odds? Saturn also has the Gematria 42 from Pope Francis's birthday, which is Saturnalia, the first day of it, to today is 42 weeks later. Just think about it. What are the odds of all of this being a coincidence in light of what we keep talking about, how the Catholic Church runs the whole show, how we're on their calendar, on their time scale, and again, the English language credited to a Catholic monk, Burford the Ramsey Abbey, all roads leading to Rome. So again, United Nations General Assembly Resolution 181 is what drew up Israel on September 3rd, 47. Of course, you can also write the date 39. There's 39 books in the Old Testament, the Jewish section, and Protestant Bibles. And um, notice the official name of Israel is State of Israel, which equals 201, 
like the Jesuit order equals 201, like Jewish mysticism equals 201, like Pope Francis' birth name Jorge Mario Bergoglio equals 201, like the founder of the Jesuits Ignatius Loyola equals 201, like how David Ben-Gurion died 201 days after the anniversary of Israel's establishment, just like how Order of Illuminati equals 201, founded by the Jewish man Adam Weishaupt, who was Jesuit trained, who died 201 days after the anniversary of the Illuminati's establishment, like the million 201s we talk about all the time, like Benjamin Netanyahu stepping down on June 13th, 2021, the day leaving 201 days left in the year, like Benjamin Netanyahu returning to the prime minister position on 1229, December 29th, when 1229 is the 201st prime, like how in Hebrew gematria, 201s related to light, and light is knowledge, and in English, the phrase knowledge is power is 201, and how they're using this little code every day to orchestrate their madness and their rituals and their rig system and their rig game on their calendar with their language, which is encoded with Kabbalah. Like how in this nation, we get all these rigged elections for people to fight over, you know? Jesuits going to Israel, divided up so they'll always have something to fight over in politics and strife and chaos. In this nation, they keep everybody fighting over the rigged political system where the new man in charge who always fails on all of his promises, the latest Jesuit puppet, gets installed in the U.S. on the 201st day of the nation's age, January 20th, 20-1, where again, inauguration of the President of the United States, the official title of the day equals 201. Again, I know I'm talking about the same stuff every day, but it's because the same shit's happening all over the world every day. By the way, again, Catholic Pope 201, like the CIA established on the 201st day of Pope Pius XII's age, the sitting Pope at the time. Like how the words in the CIA's logo equal 201. Like how it's known as Catholics in Action and their motto equals 201. The center of intelligence, the work of a nation. So here's Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel, which would have never came about without the contrived Jesuit world wars and the U.S. intervention. Where the nation's capitals in Washington, D.C., where the Jesuits set up camp in the United States when they came over here. Back when the nation's capital was once in Philadelphia before it was moved to the Jesuit stronghold. But again, Netanyahu back in office on 1229, and he was once out on June 13th. And you got, I can remember exactly where I was on June 13th, 2021. I was in Seattle when that news broke, and I was teaching about it on the streets of Seattle in, in real time. We were down there on that day on purpose to educate about Event 201, the coronavirus pandemic simulation, and why Israel got the worst of the vaccine mandates. And then we even got Benjamin Netanyahu stepping down that day. To prove the point even further. And remember, there was a guy out there, paid to be out there all day to drown me out with a loudspeaker. And when I got there on the corner of Seattle, which I'd done so many times, he greeted me and said, every time you get on your bullhorn, I'm going to outplay you with this massive speaker setup I brought down here. And then he said to me as he went back to his speaker setup, he goes, you're not even former soldier. I was like, what's that mean? What are you, some like military pawn? Like, who cares if I'm not a former soldier? Yeah, I didn't sign up to be part of the U.S. mercenary force. Go kill innocent brown people. Blamed on uh, the lies of 9-11. Follow Ian Barak's orders. While everyone overlooks the... Uh, and, and again, just to remind people, that whole dancing Israelis thing was a setup to get people looking into the truth to blame Israel. I can come back to the dancing Israelis too and just how encoded that is. But um, as we've talked about so many times, today, October 7th, again, 10-7, like 107, the ripe day for a military intervention. Again, the U.S. in Afghanistan on this day 22 years ago on the orders of Iyad Barak. Now we're back in Israel. We got another war thing going on. But today leaves 85 days left in the year. October 7th leaves 85 days. Templar equals 85. Isus Hominum Salvatore, the Jesuit motto, equals 85. That's what the IHS and their logo stands for that has the Templar cross above it. The three nails stand for Triclavianism, which has gematria of 201 and 93. Capital punishment's 201. Triclavianism was capital punishment by the Romans, like how Jesus was crucified between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., and the story of Jesus begins with the 930th chapter of the Bible, 930, when God's son equals 93, like crucifix, like Nazareth. 
like the sun said to be 93 million miles away on average. And um, again, with regards to this warfare today going on in Gaza, we'll go back to what happened to Gaza in the week of Israel's 73rd birthday two years ago. But let's talk about right now with Gaza and this war between Hamas and Israel while Hamas is 35 years old. Hamas will turn 36 in December of this year. So right now it's 35 years old and change. In the articles written today, some of them mentioned that Gaza's 35 right now. They got to let you know. Gaza has the gematria of 35 forwards, 73 when you run it in reverse. There's 73 total books in the Catholic Bible. 73 is the 21st prime. Coming back to the whole Saturn thing, the Jesuit thing. The words Bible, Saturn, and Jesuit are all 21. Well, here we are on a Saturday. But Gaza's 35. So is Catholic. So is Holy See. So is Jesuitism. So is Europe. And uh, again, just think about it. It's all synced up with the Pope and the Superior General, who's the leader of the Jesuits. Just think about how perfect that is. And again, in our four base ciphers, Catholic 71, it's 71 days from the Pope's upcoming birthday. Gaza, Hamas, 35 years old right now. If I misspoke a second ago, I meant to say Hamas is 35 years old right now. And when you run the alphabetic order, Catholic 145, Israel was established on the 14th day of the fifth month. 14 slash 5. Uh, you know, another 93, it just, it slipped into my mind. We were just talking about all the 93. Another 93 I should have brought up was the Talpiot program. That's Israel's techno military technology program. The Talpiot program, Talpiot's 93. Brandon O'Connell does work on Israel and the Talpiot program. The reason that just came into my mind is, is talking about May 14th, Israel's birthday. Who else's birthday is May 14th is Mark Zuckerberg who, of course, is Jewish, supposedly founded Facebook. But most people don't realize that Facebook was launched on February 4th, 2004. And the same day that Facebook launched is the same day that DARPA, which is the military intelligence for the U.S., DARPA's life log ended, which was like Facebook. So the military DARPA life log experiment project ends... And Facebook begins on the same day, February 4th, which can be written 4 slash 2, like computers 42, like internet's 42, like Jesuits 42, like Freemasons 42, Freemasonry's Judaism for the Gentile, modern Freemasonry's a Jesuit creation. Israel's known as a very Masonic nation. But again, 145 more chapters in the Catholic Old Testament than Protestant Old Testament. Again, 39 books in the Protestant Old Testament, 46 books in the Catholic Old Testament. Thus, Catholic also equals 46. Isn't it amazing how, again, the language comes from the church and how perfectly it corresponds with the Old Testament, the Jewish section of the Bible? Again, the story is that the Templars in the time of the Crusades got their hands on all this knowledge from that part of the world including, you know, these ancient mystery religions, Kabbalah, Hermeticism, Kundalini, all this stuff, and brought all this knowledge back to the church. Here's the legacy. You know, a calendar, a language, uh, a code being carried out. And again, they say all this stuff goes back to Babylon, biblical. And remember, the first Catholic president in this nation, JFK, number 35, killed at age 46. The second Catholic president in this nation, we predicted it way in advance, Joe Biden, number 46, elected exactly 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday, inaugurated on the Pope's 35th day of his age. Bo Biden, sacrificed at age 46, exactly 201 days before the Pope's birthday. His wife and daughter sacrificed way back in 72 in a 201 ritual right after he became senator-elect. David Ben-Gurion, notice his name's 145 like Catholic. First Prime Minister of Israel, who again died 201 days after the anniversary of its establishment. But um, notice David Ben-Gurion, also 73. Just like Theodore Herzl equals 73, the founder of Zionism, who died on 7-3 at age 44, 44 years before Israel was made a nation. Theodore Herzl died in 1904 on July 4th, Israel a nation in 1948. And again, 44, right? Israel, this military state that has a biblical 
justification. A justification that came out of a military effort in World War II and World War I that was waged by this same numerical code. Israel Netanyahu Zion, all 44. The founder of Zionism, Theodore Herzl, dead at 44, 44 years before the creation of Israel. These people work patiently. They work by a code. They work systematically. They do the same stuff over and over. That's why I'm talking about the same stuff over and over. And uh, again, you know, you, you think, uh, oh, well, that's over in this part of the world. You know, that's what, what's going on over in that part of the world. You're paying for what's going on with your tax dollars. Your tax dollars are part of this today. You're paying for this. And what's going on over there will come back over here. You know, this is the new world order. The Jesuit world order. The Jesuits who claim to have military influence in 112 countries where Catholicism and mathematics are 112. All right. So we, we covered the Catholic piece, the David Ben-Gurion piece. I've been redundant. Hopefully it's all stuck in there. And um, again, here's the Hamas little wiki. Established De December 10th, 1987, 35 years ago. That's the day leaving 21 days left in the year. Saturn, here we are on Saturday. And you know what? Just out of curiosity, I, I should have measured from that date as well. Let's just check it out. From the anniversary, from the official 30, 35th birthday to today, 301 days or 43 weeks. What is it about 43? Killing is 43. The Benjamin Netanyahu headline, we are at war equals 43. Here, I'll show you everything that I can think of for 43 off the top of my head. I know this headline equals 43. We are at war. Has Gematria of 115 and 43, like the word killing. 115 and 43. Uh, Lucifer is another one of those words for the record. And... You see how we are at war is 155 and 65. So is Christianity 155 and 65. Remember how we said Templars 85 today leaves 85 days left in the year. Notice Net Knights Templars also 65. The warriors of the Catholic Church. The Jesuits are the modern day warriors of the Catholic Church. You see how Knights Templars 79 in reverse. Look at Society of Jesus. Again, their logo has the Templar cross with the Sus Omnum Salvatores we went over. Society of Jesus is a 79. So is Christianity, 79. The official name of Jesus is Yeshua, 79. 79 is the 22nd prime number. It's the 22nd anniversary of our invasion of Afghanistan. In Revelation, which is 22 chapters, it's the destruction of the world, war, And um, uh, again, founded December 10th, 87. And, and you know, I, I mean, you see how Muslim is 87? That they're Islamic, right? So founded in 87 by a code. The Muslim 24 is probably foreshadowing. 2024 is just on the horizon, you guys. Again, uh, if you don't know about Albert Pike and his three world wars, and like I said, he was born December 29th, and Benjamin Netanyahu being installed on his birthday, you should look, about, look into Albert Pike's letter about three world wars. It was once something that was literally posted on a wall of a museum in the UK, and now it's something that as time's gone on and truth gets buried, now they say, oh, it might just be a conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sure that's what it is now. But um, notice that the first ever attack, supposedly by Hamas, was in April of 93. And maybe we should look up what day specifically it was in the fourth month of 93. But just think about it. Again, 93 World Trade Center bombing in February, right? And next thing you know, it's 9-11. The next thing you know, it's 20-some years of war. And the next thing you know, finally they're removing... Everybody from this part of the world that we had no business in in the first place. And then what date is Afghanistan's government collapse? On the Jesuit order's birthday, August 15th. Think that was an accident? Hell no. That was another ritual. But yeah, to go back to um, just Theodore Herzl, in case you don't know about these things. Again, the founder of Zionism. Dead at age 44 on July 
third, okay? Talking about the same stuff over and over. And his name with the 73, you know? Dead at 44, 44 years before Israel. A lot, lot of things interesting in there. Theodore, the 85, here we are on the day, leaving 85 days left in the year. 104, like Jerusalem, like Roman Catholic Church. Things getting hot right now in the time of the 104th NFL season where it seems like there's 104s all over the place as we keep talking about day after day. Just got the 10-4 message received in the U.S. and in Russia. In Russia, they send it out at 10.40 a.m. And, and you know what? Let's go to that. Let's go back to what I was just saying uh, about why we need to watch out for October 7th in light of what they just uh, encoded. Why doesn't this come up? Um... Why is this not coming up? Hold up. I got I to gotta get this up. We got to revisit this. How can that possibly be what comes up? Come on, man. Here we go. Okay. So, again, like we were talking about, on the same day that the U.S. got the emergency alert on 10-4, Again, 10-4 message received. Russia did too. They did the same thing in Russia. Russia's was sent out at 10.40 a.m. Moscow time. And I pointed out how Reuters, who broke the news about Russia, posted at 2.07 a.m. And it emphasized the phrase, attention remain calm, which equals 2.07. And again, if you missed this video, you want to go back and watch this. It was um, the TFR episode. But Hunt for Red October's 2.07 and again alec baldwin shooting the ukrainian woman on the set of rust right before ukraine russia and, and being the star in that movie and being a playing a portraying a cia jesuit educated agent jack ryan in the film but the other 207s the new world order the number of the beast october 7th like i just said vladimir putin's birthday here we are foreshadowing terrorist attack New York City, New York. Think about where that was with the past with the terrorist attack. Statue of Liberty, the rumors that Flight 93, which crashed, was going to hit the Statue of Liberty. And New York, New York has the Gematria 93 as well, going with that 93 World Trade Center bombing. And uh, again, the Manhattan Project out of New York. An atomic bomb equals 93. And again, Ground Zero's terminology for where an atomic hydrogen or nuclear bomb explodes. You know, Donald Trump, where he's in the middle of all this and, and the connections with Israel and Russia and just everything going on and all the storm is coming and the calm before the storm, another 207. And, you know, Turkey being so central to everything going on and their leader's name, 207. And, and one of the main guys who's connected to Kabbalah and it's spread in modern times, Sabatai Zevi, 207. The magician, like tarot cards, 207. Murder by numbers, 207. So we were just pointing out, you know, how they just dropped this clue Reuters as they broke this news, seemingly coding October 7th as well. <laughs> Albert Pike's letters about how the Third World War is going to break out between the world and Zionism. I'm just saying, you know, the, the, the plot's been foretold. The knowledge has been discovered. The knowledge has been exposed. And, um, you know, I mean, just not enough people have helped us out to try and avoid what, what's been projected. We've been on point the whole time. And for being on point, we've had haters come out of the woodwork from all over the place. More and more haters by the day. More and more people falling off the wagon by the day because they're not real. They're not righteous people. You know, the guy who I was debating yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw the video he went out and put on his channel. He just went on there and just lied a whole bunch. Didn't even address anything. These are the agents and provocateurs around us, and they are. Somebody called me up last night who met me in Oklahoma City, and he said, dude, what's up? Why, why are you guys going at it now? I said, well, did because he, he saw his stream. I said, did you watch what happened on my stream? And he goes, no. I said, well, go back and watch that. And I said, hey, by the way, did he ever tell you his name when you met him in Oklahoma City? He goes, you know what? I have a, I have his name saved somewhere in my phone. So he starts scrolling through his phone. I said, tell me what he told you his name was. See what you have his na name saved as in your phone. And um, he finally found it. He goes, he goes, it's Tabari. I said, isn't that funny? I said, that's what I was told his name was in Oklahoma City too. Well, I said, Go watch our stream. He just told us yesterday his name's Tua. Now his name's Tua. And before that, I was told his name was something else before Tabari. I've known him as three different names in the time I've known of, of him. 
how come he doesn't go by his real name? So again, you guys, I mean, facts are facts, and it's obvious who the real agents are. And there's a lot of them hanging around. What I'm exposing is dangerous to the cabal. That's why I got to have people around me messing with me all the time. You can't take me off my path, though. You can't take me off the block I'm standing on. I know I'm right. Proving this shit every day. And again, case in point, another thing I talked about with Israel a million times, Jacob, who becomes Israel in the Bible and dies at 147, you think it's an accident this is going down on Israel's 147th day of his age? Again, Freemasonry is Judaism for the Gentile. Freemason has that gematria of 147. Also, 48, like how Israel was made a nation in 48. Also, 42, like how it was Resolution 181 that essentially created Israel, the 42nd prime. This stuff's not an accident. There's probably something with 96 in Israel's history, too, I don't know about right now. But we talk about Freemason rituals in 96. It's just, I don't know exactly where it fits in with Israel at this exact moment. Unless it's the synagogue of Satan type of thing. That could be. And I'm not saying that, like, somebody who lives over there, that makes them a part of the synagogue of Satan. But I'm saying, you know, the synagogue of Satan's plan. You know, the synagogue of Satan, if you didn't know. Whoop, let me spell it right. The synagogue of Satan. You see the 223? We talked about the 79 earlier, right? The 22nd prime, 22 years later. But you see the 223? Remember, the letter is written to the Church of Philadelphia about the synagogue of Satan. Philadelphia 223. Philadelphia is also 61 and 65 like church. Or excuse me, 61 and 101 like church. Christianity is 65. Christian is 61. So is Jesus. So is cross. So is Messiah. So is gospel. Actually, all those words have gematria overlap, but they're not all 61. Anyway, all of these words do go back to Christianity and the biblical teachings. And um, today's uh, Netanyahu's 283rd day of being prime minister again, which is the 61st prime number. But also, just coming back to the 223, what year are we in? 2023. Remember the uh, Catholic guy who pretended to be Jewish? He, he was getting all, the Congress guy who got into Congress. His birth name is 223. Like the synagogue of Satan. And what, what's it say? If you guys don't know Revelation 3, 7 through 9, let's, let's read it. This is written to the letter of the Church of Philadelphia. And we talked about this at the beginning of the year. The, the earthquake in Turkey, which is biblical Philly, as they were given the synagogue of Satan tribute at the Grammys with the uh, tranny and the gay guy dancing around to stages of flames. You know, and again, you know what? No hate for gay people or trannies either. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. It's just I don't want to see it like broadcast on TV and, and promoted to children that it's cool to get fucked in the ass and cut off your genitals. I don't think that's right. But if that's what you want to do as an adult, go for it. Anyway, to the church in Philadelphia, to the angel in the church in Philadelphia, right? These are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David, and what he opens no one can shut, and what he shuts no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, that you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. So again, Claiming to be Jews, but are not. Somebody remind me what that congressman's name is. I, I, I'll just show you this too. And, I, and we called it, because that news started to break at the end of 2022. And I said, watch, the story will go into 2023. And it's a tribute to the synagogue of Satan. Um, congressman who claimed to be a Jew. What's his name? He's Catholic. George Santos. Here, I, That's not his birth name. <laughs> he changed his name. I'm going to show you his birth name. His birth name is 223. Go figure. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've been doing some other nice Catholic uh, rituals with this guy, too. His, his real name, Anthony DeVolder. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Anthony DeVolder is the real name of George Santos. And, and before they even put this revelation out, before it was even out there, we already were on it. We're like, this is a tribute to the synagogue of Satan coming right before 2023 gets underway. And, and at the end of 22, right? How many chapters in Revelation where you read about the synagogue of Satan? 22 chapters. Anthony DeVolder, also 74. Jewish, right? I mean, like, if you say something is ish, it's like not really, right? If it's it's ish, it's sort of. It's sort of Jewish. It's sort of a Jew. It's Jewish. 
but Jewish 74, like Gematria. And remember the Superior General 74 right now. And, and, and I, I talked about this. I talked about what it meant for Israel to be 75, which we'll get to, and the Superior General to be 74. I said there's going to be some real big shit in Israel this year. But Gematria is the, or Gematria is the Jewish practice coding numbers into words. English is 74. Again, occult 74. Masonic is 74. Killing is 74. Stabbing is 74. Roman is 74. We remember the stabbing or the killing of Caesar on the Ides of March, the 74th day of the year. Three of the first five U.S. presidents died on 7-4. Holiday is 74, like Independence Day is 74, like George Washington, the Mason 74. In Washington, D.C. at the Capitol building, painted up on the top is George Washington and up in the clouds looking down like he's Jesus. And then there's an open tomb for George Washington under the building, like how there's an open tomb in the world that people can observe for Jesus. But Jesus Christ, 74, Jesus, 74, Gospel, 74, Parables, 74, Cross, 74, Messiah, 74, again, Roman, 74, again, Holy Roman Empire, 74, Holy Roman Empire, also 218, like the emergency alert, again, at 218, on the day leaving 88 days left in the year. The Holy Roman Empire supposedly folded on the 218th day of the year in 1806, but it's alive and well in the Catholic Church and right here in Washington, D.C. and in Israel and at the Vatican and in the Banking District of London. But again, Jacob, who becomes Israel, dies at 147 and now war in Israel, which is death, on the 147th day of the nation's age. And why does it matter what the nation's age is? Again, October 6, 1940 was a date with 75 numerology. And I, had a, I used to have a long post on this on my old blog, breaking down the guy who said it and what happened to him. And Google deleted that. Again, if you guys don't know, my old website, freetofindtruth.blogspot.com. When I started that blog, it was not owned by Google, but Google bought Blogspot. And in the last two and a half, three years, Google's been deleting a lot of my old archive posts on there. And in the last year, they deleted my post, my my original long, you know, uh, just a, a huge amount of dedicated work and research just deleted and gone. And it's so annoying. But the, the main premise of it was just right here, that this article from October 6th, 1940 from the New York Times, again, today's the one day, one day after the anniversary of the New York Times having this up there. And... October 6, 1940, 10 plus 6 plus 19 plus 40 was a date with 75 numerology. The phrase New World Order, 75. Catholic Church, 75. Order, 75. The New York Times has always been run by Jesuits. The BBC is the same over in the UK. BBC, 223. By the way, in Jewish Gematria, Masonic equals 223. Freemason, 96. Satanism, 96. The Synagogue of Satan. Uh, I've never been in Freemasonry, but you've seen probably many of videos on YouTube of former Freemasons who left who said when they got up to the higher degrees, they started to realize it was Satanic. Again, does it mean it was always Satanic? Here, uh, for the people who say that um, Freemasonry was once pure and righteous and it was hijacked and became evil, it's, it's possible. Let, let's look at what could have happened. You see how Satan has the gematria of 80 and 35? Remember, Baphomet has that gematria of 80 and 35. And we talked about how Catholic equals 35. And the Knights Templar were burned at the stake in history because supposedly it turned out they were satanic in worshiping Baphomet. This is the, the old story. Okay? And let's not forget that the Church of Satan, founded in San Francisco, named after St. Francis of Assisi, who founded the Franciscans, which was the precursor to the Jesuits, who also followed the Templar history, Let's not forget that the founder of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey, died 201 days after his own birthday and 201 days before the sitting pope's birthday at the time, who was the same pope who was in office when two towers became zero before they became one, and I'm talking about 9-11. But Baphomet and Satan have that gematria of 80, right? And Bavarian Illuminati is 80. And we were just talking about what happened to Dick Buckus at age 80, and then DJ Moore's record game, and, you know... Uh, and again, modern Freemasonry and all the American sports credited to Freemasons. And again, modern Freemasonry, a Jesuit creation. Anyhow, 
Notice also how Bavarian Illuminati is 188, and the U.S. dollar bill denominations, the 1, the 2, the 5, the 10, the 20, the 50, the 100, add up to 188. Got the Illuminati symbolism, the language of Rome all over the dollar bill. <laughs> 127, Pearl Harbor, buildings 1, 2, and 7, the new Pearl Harbor in 9-11. I mean, there, there's a lot here. I, I don't want to go off on... Um, I don't want to go off on too many tangents, but don't ever forget that ground zero is 127. So, where's my article at? Okay, coming back. Uh, again, just 75 date numerology. Israel is 75 years old right now. The new world order is the Jesuit world order. And, and do you see how new world order is 177? Uh, again, look at Benjamin Netanyahu. Benjamin Netanyahu, 177. Remember, the Jesuit order. Here, let's compare Benjamin Netanyahu and the Jesuit order. And, and we, we've seen the, the 201 rituals he, he's participating in, right? Here, let's put an order of Illuminati up here too, actually, for the record. Let's put all these things up here. You see the overlaps? Order of Illuminati, 20193. Benjamin Netanyahu, 93. The Jesuit order, 201. Benjamin Netanyahu, 177 and 69. 69 also goes with the Jesuit order. Just all these overlap numbers. Again, 69 and 93 go back to Saturn, the first Jesuit pope. Pope Francis, born on Saturnalia. Uh, with regards to Saturn in 201, look at Saturnian order. Saturnian order is the exact same as the Jesuit order, 177, 69, 201. Saturn worship, 201. Also, 150 like Illuminati, like how the sun's 150 million kilometers away on average. Like how, Day or uh, what's his name, Alec Baldwin smoked the Ukrainian woman at 1.50 p.m. local time, 201 days after his birthday. And it was compared to Brandon Lee, whose death was compared to his father, Bruce Lee, while filming Game of Death on the 201st day of the year. That's what it is. It is a Game of Death. It's always a Game of Death with these people. These people loved, uh, I mean, you, there's no way you couldn't say these people are a death cult. And remember, Saturn, Saturn, it's, it's astrological symbol, the sickle. It gets, uh, the, the sickle is where the Grim Reaper scythe comes from. But uh, sacrifice to Saturn. Sacrifice to Saturn. 201. Hmm. 75 as well. Israel's 75. Here we are on, you know, Saturday. See how sacrifice to Saturn's 258? Again, look at order of Illuminati one more time. 258. Look at number of the beast. 258. Where's the relationship with number of the beast 666 and 258? Take the square root of 666. You know what it is? It's 25.8. You know what I mean? Number of the beast 174 like new world order. You remember what they did on the 174th day of the first ever Jesuit Ignatian year? They unveiled the beast statue at the United Nations in New York. What's New York equal in Sumerian Gematria? 666. New World Order, 177. Benjamin Netanyahu, 177. The Jesuit Order, 177. How about that other Jesuit that's large and in charge in this world right now? Klaus Schwab, 177. The main sponsor of Event 201. His name's also 120, like Illuminati. 69, like Illuminati. Again, founded by the Jesuit. Again, Klaus Schwab, the main sponsor of Event 201. He said, by 2030, you'll own nothing and be happy. His name's also 30. Saturn on a 30-year cycle. Illuminati equals 69. Saturn equals 69. Working by a code in time over and over. Order of Illuminati. 93 and 201. 93 World Trade Center bombing. Two towers become zero before they become one. No justice. No real journalism. No one really looking into anything, just believing the authorities. They're all part of this cabal. Or if they're not part of the cabal, they're just controlled by it with money. That's the other thing. How do you keep all the secrets? Well, first of all, all the secrets aren't being kept. People have come out and spoken out. People seem to not care. Let me turn on Sean Hannity and see if he talks about it tonight. Well, Sean Hannity didn't talk about it tonight, so it must not be true. Anderson Cooper didn't talk about it tonight, so it must not be true. Remember, Anderson Cooper, he just did an internship at the CIA. He's not really CIA. He only had an internship there before he started his job at CNN. CNN. 
13, CIA, 13, 13 stripes, 13 colonies, 13 years, K to 12, where you don't learn shit about shit. So anyway, I got up this morning because I was way behind on other things I need to do. And then this was breaking out and I thought, oh God, I'm right about October 7th. I wish I wasn't right so often. It just keeps creating more work for me to do that not enough people appreciate. You know? If there's a Brandon O'Connell out there, you know, I, like I appreciate the work Brandon O'Connell does and he's another guy I've tried to reach out to several times and he seems, you know, legit. But like, I mean, it's years that I've been saying, man, teach about Israel in this 93 thing. You know, this Saturn thing. Talpi at 93, 42, 30. Man, Saturn numbers. And Saturn's got the 93 and 42 in Gematria, but also the 30-year cycle. And you know what? There actually is a rule for the 19th letter in reduction. And um, Saturn also does have a backdoor relationship to 30. The, the difference between this 21 and 30 is one letter. S is the 19th letter of the alphabet, so the numerology of 19 is 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 is 1 plus 0 is 1. So you can take it down to 1, where Saturn's 21, which is the true one. Because again, 21 is the sixth triangular number, like Saturn's the sixth planet, like how it's represented with a cube. Six sided object. But again, Saturn has the 30 year cycle as well. So. Anyhow, I'll, uh, I'll stay up on this and. Um, The headline is, if you have a gun, get it out. I feel like they should have Nas Esco doing it. He woke up this morning, he got himself a gun. Uh, that was actually the Sopranos song. Or, or wait, no, it was somebody else's song, but the Sopranos used it for their intro, and then Nas turned it into a rap song. Hey, by the way, Tony Soprano, uh, again, just the Jesuits, Italy, the mom, a code, ethics, secrecy. Remember, Sopranos came out in 1999, right? And Tony Soprano died in Italy on Pope Francis's 99th day of being Pope. Go figure. Sopranos 99. And um, again, home box office, HBO's 56, like Society of Jesus. We talked about a number of dead actors from HBO series, Dead in 56 Rituals. And home box office is 54 and 72, like Jesuit order, like Cable 54 and They Live, The Enemy of the World, where the enemy of the world, Cable 54, says they'll have full control over the world by 2025. 72 names of God in Kabbalah, 72 demons in the Goetia. Uh, John Carroll equals 54, founded the first Jesuit university in the U.S. at age 54. Anthony Fauci, the Jesuit, just hired by Georgetown after 54 years of public service. The 144 we talk about all the time. Uh, dancing Israelis. Remember that they put that out there for the people looking for truth after 9-11, the dancing Israelis that were sent back to Israel. I, I realize now that was just all bait. That was all bait. And, and, and you see what it did. You know, like if you, if you know no more news, Adam Green, just like me, once upon a time, he, he's still stuck on that. So it's got to be the Jews. It's got to be Israel. And he's never come off it. And you know what? The thing about Adam Green is, What's funny enough is he is supposedly the biggest Israel hater, but he actually took a trip over to Israel. And then when he got back from Israel, he asked to interview me. And we did an interview. And he deleted our interview the next day because I said, I said, you're sort of right about the Israel thing, but Israel's part of something bigger. And, you know, I was telling him he's got to look at the Jesuits and, and, and the church and, and who pledged the New World Order to Israel. So he, he probably also knows that he's probably also just on payroll and doing his thing to, to divide the people of the world. But this stuff's not an accident, you guys. And it, actually, if you want to look further into the dancing Israelis in the apartment complex there are, you'll find the 201. And they've just been doing the same thing to us the whole time. Over and over and over, you guys. Over and over and over and over and over and over, man. People got to wake up. How, how many uh, ministers are going to be in the church today passing out the collection plate saying we got to support our brothers and sisters in Israel? 
helping bring about the next holy war. You know, because it'll be about, you, you can just imagine it in the church today. You're going to support the Jews. You're not going to support those dirty Muslims. And, and, and by the way, let's, all, let's also not forget that. And, and understand, I'm not saying that Muslims are dirty. I'm just saying the way like how people have taken sides. And not every minister is going to do that. There's some ministers who will probably give a sermon and, and, and say the right thing, but I know a lot of them won't. You know, I, I grew up in the church too. And, um, <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't even cover the 329 piece here with it because we talked about 47 weeks. I ignored the 329. 329 is the number of the Russell Trust, which is the money behind Skull and Bones, who gets their symbolism from the Knights Templar. And again, who was in office when 9-11 happened? That's right, the Skull and Bones member, George Bush. But, um, oh my God, I need to rewind my stream 20 seconds. What was I just going to pull up? What was I just saying before I got distracted with 329 and Russell Trust? What was I going to do? Not getting enough sleep. Can somebody tell me what I was just going to say before 329? I was about to pull something up. Go back and watch my own video and see what I was about to say. Nobody has a wrench. I got rid of all. I, I, mean, I just told people, people can self-moderate. Not a single person has a wrench in here. No, I, I just brought up the Bush and Yale thing out of Russell Trust. I was saying something before that. 322, two, that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. Thank you. The Arab League. So if you don't know about the Arab League, it was formed March 22nd, 322, what Skull and Bones identifies by. The Arab League was formed at the end of World War II on 322. And again, go back and look at... Um, I can't think of people's names this morning. Gaddafi. Go back and look at Gaddafi's speech at the Arab League after we killed Saddam Hussein and his sons. He said, he said, what the U.S. is doing right now, making allegations and going in and doing whatever they want, he said they can do it to any of our nations and who will be next. And what's funny is if you watch that speech, whoever the camera person is recording that, they keep going from Gaddafi to the leader of Syria, whose birthday is September 11th. They keep zooming in on him. They keep zooming in on him. And think about how long he's been the big enemy too. And we have gone into Syria. But 322, right? Again, Genesis 322. Genesis is the basis of the Abrahamic religions. And again, your gematria. Abrahamic's 187. There's 187 chapters in the Torah. Abrahamic 61. Today's the 283rd day in Netanyahu's age, the 61st prime. Abrahamic's 56, like light, like three... Again, in Genesis 3, 1, 3, the third verse of the Bible, God makes light, light, three, Abrahamic. There's three Abrahamic religions, three, light. They're all 56, right? Did you know that the name Hubbard means bright? I assure, And again, I don't have any bloodline in the name Hubbard. My dad's adopted, but I do find it ironic. I'm like, oh, man, we did, we were shedding some light on some dark shit. I guess maybe I was meant to be named Hubbard. A anyhow, Abrahamic's 187. There's 187 chapters. In the Torah, right? And just like big, big number with the Jesuits and their kill code. And we just talked about what happened to Diane Feinstein and the news breaking on 929 or 929, like the 929 chapters in the Old Testament and dead on the 187th day and Nancy Pelosi's age. Uh, she's the Catholic that's big in, in the Congress. Feinstein's, you know, the, the Jews big in the Senate representing California where we once had Arnold Schwarzenegger as the governor telling you just how big of a nation this, or big of a joke this nation is. But 322, here, I, I want to remind you what it is about Genesis 322. We're going to look at the NIV, New International Version, and the King James Version, because if you don't know this, you got to know this. If you don't know this, it means you've never read my books, because it's not even that far into them. But um, Genesis 322, again, people here every day asking me questions that I've answered a gazillion times, plus written books about and made them free that are answered in the opening pages of the book. But we're going to do both versions, the King James Version and the New International Version. I'm going to show you why, because they have different wording, but the same numbers. And the Lord God said, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Again, the tree of life is the physical model for Kabbalah, where this whole letters and numbers thing comes from. There are three pillars and 22 paths. 
in the tree of life. 322. And here it's mentioned in the verse. And the tree of life, it has a good half and it has a dark half known as the Klippoth. And the Klippoth also has that 666 gematria. And the Klippoth is about sorcery and spell casting and using the knowledge to have influence and control over people. So no doubt this is what's going on. But notice the the, ver the wording in the New International Version. You run the alphabetic order in reverse through the part about knowing good and evil, like how there's a good and evil half. Again, the verse is broken up through the first half of the verse. It's 3 two, 2 right? Now you take the wording in the King James Version, which is slightly different. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And then it goes on. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. But here, despite the different wording, despite the different wording, I'm just going to get rid of these other ciphers. Put them both in here. Despite the different wording, we got the two different wordings. You can see the different wording, but they both equal 322, right? Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Just for the record, again, the ancient mystery religions. That's where all this stuff, the, the ancient mystery religions are all things to look into. Hermeticism, so important to understand. Notice how it also has the 322. It also has the 119 in it, like Star of David and Orthodox and... Um, but I'm forgetting other things right now, but, you know, and it goes right along with the 9-11, the 11th day of the ninth month, but Star David 47, it goes right along with today being 47 weeks after the Superior General's birthday, but it um, goes along with why I'm always telling people to learn about these numbers and what is 47 and why are there so many mega rituals in the world with 47 and why was the 47 flory... 47-story Solomon Brothers building, the third building to fall on 9-11... <laughs> when all of Freemasonry's secrets are in Solomon's temple. And the Masons have the whole thing with the 47th problem of Euclid. And all <laughs> this nation founded on the fourth day of the seventh month. Ah. But anyway, none of this stuff's an accident, you guys. And but you know what? You want to do some homework today? Go back and listen to uh, Gaddafi's speech at the Arab League. I don't think he was a bad guy. He pro I, pro I don't know if he knew about what I knew about. He if he did, he probably would have taught about it. But what we do know is, you know, he was said to be a terrorist and an evil person in the U.S. and the media after he was killed. And the reality is you can still, unless they've all flushed it, Google. But, I mean, you used to be able to watch how that dude was always out with his people. Doesn't need secret service. He can just be out with his people. He's being celebrated. He uh, raised the quality of life for his people. He tried to get his people on a more independent system from this new world order. And for that, he was killed. And, you know, if you've seen the people who did the analysis of him getting stomped out to death, um, the boots that everybody was wearing were NATO-issued boots. So it looked like NATO actually killed him and not a rebellion by his own people, which is what the media reported. In the U.S., we were told that his own people killed him. You look at the footage in the forensics, the people are all dressed in NATO gear. And with regards to NATO and where we started with militarism in 44, you know what day NATO was established, right? NATO... Established on 4-4, R.I.P. Martin Luther King Jr., who a year to the day before his April 4th assassination spoke out against the U.S. military-industrial complex. By the way, that's another 3 through 2 We had the president, you know, warn us on the way out that the military-industrial complex would grow to be our worst nightmare if it wasn't stopped. That's another 3 2, two. It's also 353, the 71st prime, like Catholic. It's also 155, like Christianity, like what they encoded in today's headline where we began. Well, let's not forget Operation Warp Speed on the day to celebrate Mercury on 15-5 when that's the one ingredient that raises a lot of eyebrows and the jabs. And let's not, for, let's not forget how Warp Speed equals 44 either or that Pfizer equals 44 or that Pfizer equals 80 like Satan and the Claydex simulation on 15-5 two years to the day of Operation Warp Speed was 666 days before the pandemic was declared and the beast is Satan. And Anyway, I mean, long story short, none of this is an accident. This is all the fingerprints of the agenda and who's done it to us and where we're being taken and how it was all foretold in 
Hey, you, come here, here. You know what day the... Here. Here, let, here, let's actually close out right here. Albert Pike. I mean, really, I could just keep talking for 20 more hours about things, but I, I do have to move on. Again, Albert Pike, Freemason, who had died on 4-2. That's also another part of it. But his letter on December 29th, or not, his birthday on December 29th. Again, the man who wrote the letter about three world wars. Albert Pike, letter, date, three world wars. It's August 15th. Let me see if I'm searching it like that, just those... This says, uh, this is a false date right here. There's so much false information now. But here. Albert Pike's letter to Mazzini, the second leader of the Illuminati, on the Jesuit order's birthday. Again, that's the day Afghanistan's government fell, August 15th. Jesuits were created in Paris, France, August 15th, 1534. Uh, the other year, Donald Trump, another Jesuit scumbag, another agent. A lot of people are, are, are deceived. <laughs> it's amazing that people are deceived by the, the orange... Overgrown Oompa Loompa. It's like as uh, bright as a used car salesman. But, um, and again, the sad thing is, I mean, the reason, <laughs> I won't even say it. A anyway, but his brother just died the other year on August 15th. Trump went to Fordham. And let's not forget the big 201 ritual they just did in the U.S. with January 6th, 201 days after the Albert Pike statue fell. I mean... People are instigating division and war by the same code in all sorts of different ways all over. Here's another one. Caitlyn Jenner, 201. So We'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. I got a lot of work to get done today. And, um, you know, for all you guys who are waiting for the sports information, it'll come. But, uh, again, sports is secondary to uh, exposing what's actually going on in the world. Yeah, it is nice to win some... Some Illuminati bucks, some Illuminati Monopoly bucks, because for the time being, they still do pay the bills and buy things. But at the same time, if we're living in hell, you know, you'll look back and say, man, those Illuminati bucks didn't mean shit. All right, we raised $4 in the stream. Thank you very much. Michael Kid Gilchrist files a $40 million lawsuit. Okay. And uh, shout out to Nathan as well. Thank you. If you guys can hit the like and share and share this on your own social media, you know, just give it a copy and paste, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your whatever, your Gab, your, your, uh, what, what are the other platforms, your BitChute, your, uh, your Rumble, you guys can share this all over the place, it really does deserve to be shared, it's, uh, it's the ongoing documentation of, of 10 years of Jesuit world domination, needless death, killing, paranoia, fear, Wasted resources, evil things, things that need to be stopped. And again, thank you to everyone who does support the work. I wish we had way more people supporting. We'd have a way bigger impact. And um, this work deserves to be having a way bigger impact. I don't see anyone else up at all hours of the day decoding every last scummy thing that needs to be stopped right there in its tracks. For all you guys out there saying I'm a fraud and a shill, You'll see someday, you'll regret that you took some of those Illuminati bucks to harass me 24-7, 365. It's not the last final thought you want to have going through your head. See, the final thought that'll be going through my head is, man, I did everything I could in the time I could to make the world better. That's the thought you want to be having in your head in your last moment. Till next time, True Seeker.